Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a dimmer switch to a light. Now these are the more modern dimmer switches. Um, they've got an input and an output, usually live in, live out, and then just a switch where you connect your switch to toggle the dim and uh, on off. Now do note that these do come with uh, the wattage. Um, this one is 400 watt inductor 500 watt resistive so make sure that when you're using light bulbs like these that are heavier that you don't put more wattage on these that they can handle okay let's get started i'll show you how to connect them also um, i've got one of these dimmers the same principle 500 watt resistive 400 watt inductive i don't know if you can see that it wants to zoom in now there you go and uh, I like these a bit more because you can control it better with this switch than with the other one. I'll, I'll show you that now. Okay guys, so here's my supply. What you'll see in the switch is usually just the red wire coming in. That is the supply. And then the return wire going to your light fitting. This is the light I'm going to use. Um, then the return wire going out of the light switch. Usually you won't see the neutral inside the house. It depends on how it's wired. Uh, usually not. Sometimes you will. But uh, if you're using an existing house, the neutrals will already be connected to the light fitting. So I'm just going to connect it here quickly. And then with the dimmer, live in, live out. So it's live in from the supply side and then the output side that goes to the light fitting. Let me connect that quickly. Okay, so now you've got your live in, live out to the light, and your neutral is either already connected or you just connected it. And then you've got these two that goes to the switch, the switch itself. Now all this, these two wires do is, when they touch each other quickly like that, uh, the switch turns on and off, and on and off. If you keep it there, hold it tight, or hold it together, the light will actually uh, start to dim, do its action. It will go brighter brighter and then go dim 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 so this is all that the switch does the switch that you're going to need is one of these spring return switches if you can see on there it says uh, dim on off so if you switch this one it jumps back to the original position so this is called a spring return switch so this is what you'll need for the dimmer um, a normal switch you can use it uh, but it doesn't jump back to its original position so Yes, you can use it. It's not. Uh, it's not the best way to do it. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you why just now. So let me con connect this uh, dimmer switch, and uh, we'll see if it works. Power's on. It goes on, and it goes off. So just the action of touching the wires together makes it go on and off. But holding it in will actually start the dimmer action. And when you reach the desired dim, you just let go of the switch. And that's all there is to it. Let me show you now with the other switch, the normal switch. If it's in the on position, it goes into the dimming mode. So now it's going to be dimming all day long, on, off, on, off, if you leave it like that. If you switch it on, you've got to have to switch it on and off quickly. There you go. On. Off and on. To have the switch in there is really going to cause some trouble for people that don't know. They're going to switch the light on and they're going to walk in. And the light's going to be dimming all the time, so they're not going to know what's what's going on. So it's not not the best solution to use one of these switches, but you can use it if it's only you in the house or someone else and you know how to use it. It's fine. Otherwise, just go on and get 
one of these valve push switches. Let me show you how to connect this uh, dimmer switch on here qu quickly. You've got your live going in here into the switch, so the live into the switch, and then your output, the return to the light fitting. So now it's connected with the output, the yellow wire is always the output to the light fitting and your red wire goes to the switch. So switching this switch on is going to turn it on and it's going to turn it off. Not like the other one where you flick it on and flick it off. So it's on and you dim it with the, with the knob. I like this one better because it gives you more control. It is more expensive but it does give you more control over the light. Okay. I'm going to show you why you can't use one of these fluorescent fittings in here. Let's see what happens when I put one of them in. Now it works fine when you've got the uh, dimmer cranked up all the way. But as soon as you start dimming the switch, you can see it starts flickering. It doesn't want that, uh, that dimmer on there. You put it up all the way, it's fine start dimming it, it starts to flicker. So you can't use a dimmer action. You can't put it in there and keep the dimmer all the way open all the time. But you run the risk of someone not knowing, turning the dimmer, light going like that, and they're not knowing what's going on. So yeah, that's the reason why you can't use these lights with a dimmer. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. And I'll see you in the next video.